Hold on, hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, don't forget. Sorry, running a little late. Thought I was gonna miss you, but I made it. I'm glad you're here to join me for another segment of the Brew View. This is where we review beers to drink over your favorite board game. And today, we've got something a little bit different for you. Last couple uh, episodes, we've uh, reviewed some fantasy themed beers that uh, were a little on the sweet side, maybe weren't my favorite, and uh, I'm going a different route today. So we went with a darker beer. This is a, uh, a brown ale that's been aged in bourbon barrels, and this is certainly not your typical warm weather summer drink, but I got high hopes for it. So we're gonna make sure that this one goes a little bit better. Like I said, I hope. So this is Backwoods Monster. This is, like I said, an imperial brown ale that's been aged in oak bourbon barrels. You see uh, our little Bigfoot there, he's got the, uh, the barrel, mug of beer there with him. So we've got uh, our fantasy theme there, our monster, and he's, uh, he's going for the oak bourbon barrel aged ale. And I am uh, excited to check this out. This is from Big Muddy Brewing out of Murfreesboro, Illinois. This is a downstate brewery. I don't think I've had anything from them before, uh, but this this big boy clocks in at 10% alcohol. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna see how it does. Hopefully, we're not too disappointed. So let's see what she looks like. That is a dark, dark brown ale. That is like imperial porter or stout territory right there. That is a beautiful looking beer. That's like. Uh, yeah, that's stoutish. That's like Guinness almost. Let's see, she smells. Coffee, coffee for sure. Some chocolate maybe. Doesn't have that overpowering sweetness smell that you get from those uh, higher alcohol uh, beers we've tried before. But it does, yeah. Coffee and chocolate is definitely where we're gonna go for on the, uh, the initial impression for this one. Not for the all important first taste. Yeah, coffee and chocolate for sure. A um, little bit of hoppiness, a little bit there on the back end. I think that's where the uh, Imperial comes from in the uh, brown ale. Kind of like an IPA, but much, much darker. Not overly bitter at all. This is probably no more than a 20 or a 25 on the IBU. Uh, but you certainly get that chocolate. And the coffee, the, you know, the dark roasted malt gives you that coffee, that coffee uh, flavor. And uh, there's a little bit of sweetness that, that carries through right at the end. Yeah, it starts you off with coffee, chocolate, and you end with a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of bitterness. And actually, that is a really good beer. I've had some, I've had some uh, bourbon-aged beers before that are too bourbony. They're like a boozy, uh, almost uh, volatile because you get so much of the bourbon flavor coming off of it. This is not at all. This is a really well-balanced beer. And uh, this is an excellent, excellent beer to have over your favorite board game. Uh, comes in pretty big bottle. This is a pint and a half. And uh, at 10%, you might wanna take your time drinking this one. This would be good for maybe a half hour, 45 minute board game. So uh, scale of zero to 10. I think the, uh, I think the Backwoods Monster is gonna get a good eight. That's an eight from me, which uh, is better than we've done lately. So I'm happy with this beer. I think you're gonna be happy with this beer too. So again, Backwoods Monster from Big Muddy Brewing, Murfreesboro, Illinois. If you have any questions, comments, let us know, mention them down below. If you like this uh, video, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And uh, until next time, this has been The Brew View. Cheers.